Welcome to Shippensburg. Shippensburg is the oldest community of the Cumberland Valley, and it's the second oldest west of the Susquehanna River. The village received its name from Edward Shippen, a prominent resident of Lancaster who obtained the patent to the land from the heirs of William Penn and founded the city. Shippensburg has many historical buildings, such as these homes and the hardware store Pagan Fagan which is the oldest continuously operated hardware store in Pennsylvania. This is the Widow Piper's Tavern, which was built in 1735. It was selected as the place for the first Cumberland County Courts in 1750 and 1751. It has since been restored and serves today as the home of the Shippensburg Civic Club. This is the Shippensburg Public Library, which was originally the home of Dr. George H. Stewart. It contains approximately 45,000 books. This gazebo covers the original town spring. And this is the Middle Spring Church. It was founded in 1738 by pioneer Scotch-Irish Presbyterians, and until 1781 it was located at the nearby cemetery. But the current one was built here in 1847. Some other notable but not historical places include the Shippensburg Area Middle School, the Shippensburg Area Senior High School, the Bowling Alley, the restaurant called The Treat, the Select Family Restaurant, Shippensburg Memorial Park, and the Peace Garden, which is right next door to it. Shippensburg is a blend of old and new cultures, including the Amish and the Mennonites. You'll often see their buggies riding right down King Street, the main road in town. Some of the major employers in Shippensburg include JLG Industries, makers of scissor and boom lifts, the Beastel Company, which makes paper party favors, Lane, which makes corrugated plastic tubing, and some newer additions include Lowe's and Walmart. As Shippensburg moves into the 21st century, some of its small town character is lost as modernization occurs. With this modernization comes new places for people to live, but unlike in the past, houses are no longer being built within town borders where people can easily walk to nearby businesses, and are often in rural areas which are being sold off by the acre. Here at Prologis is one of the more graphic examples of this expanse into the farmlands. I've sped up this video times three to give you an idea of the vastness of this proposed 1.4 million square foot warehouse. One day, there will be trucks driving in and out of this area 24 hours a day, but it will never grow crops again. It's hard to imagine how much farmland we may lose in the future if developers continue to be allowed to build into agricultural zones like this. As Shippensburg continues to develop, its citizens can preserve and protect the rural character of the town. Government officials need to be proactive in toughening and enforcing zoning laws, which will preserve the remaining farmland and protect it from overdevelopment. With these measures, Shippensburg will maintain its connection to the past without sacrificing its future.